Hi, welcome to yet another interesting video. In this one, we are going to take a look at the problem which is on lead code. It is medium complexity problem. The problem is remove nth node from end of list. The description says, given the head of a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of a list and return its head. Let's look at the examples. So this one, the linked list is one, two, three, four, five, and n is provided as two, which is that we have to delete the second element or second node from the end of the list. And in this case, it is four. So we have to get rid of four. And how do we do that is that we will preserve the next of four and the the next of three would point to the next of four and that is five. So three is now connected to five, which means the the next node of three is five. So one, two, three, five, that's the linked list that will be the, the one that uh, is going to be returned. The head of that is one. So yeah, so that's, that's the example one. Example two is that where we only have one node in the list and we want to delete the first node from the end of the list, which is the node itself. And in this case, the result should be null because one is gone. So there isn't anything in the linked list. The third example where we have two nodes, we want to delete the first node from the end of the list. So we will only have one uh, node in the linked list now and that will be returned back. The constraints are number of nodes in the list are uh, not going to be higher than 30. There will be at least one node in the linked list. The value in each of the node will be not greater than 100 and they will be greater than zero, equal, greater than equal to zero. The n, which is uh, the node that we want to delete from the end of the list, is not going to be lesser than one and it, no, it is not going to be greater than the length of the linked list. So all those, you know, edge cases are taken care of uh, in this problem. We don't have to worry about thinking that, you know, what if n is minus one or if n is greater than the length of the linked list. That part is already taken care of. So the main complexity in this one is uh, to find out the length of the linked list because that is not provided. And which is not super uh, tough to know. But before that, let's create uh, a result linked list, which is pointing to head because we will be playing with uh, head a lot. We will move from head dot uh, head to head dot next to find the length of the linked list and to find the node which is to be deleted. So that is why it is important to preserve the head in some other list node. And that's what we have done. We will also need a temp node and we'll come to that. So like I mentioned, we want to know the length of the linked list first. And why do we want to know? So right now we only know that, you know, we, we have to delete the second element from the uh, linked list from the end of it. But to get to that, we need to know the length of the list so that we can iterate to this point. And how do we do that? So we will calculate the list, which is uh, in the, uh, the length of the list. In this case, it is five. And then we will do a loop uh, and move the head from head to head dot next to the point, the length of the list minus the n value. In this case, n is two. So we will run a loop from one to three and we will end up uh, being at this point. And at this point, we will switch the head dot next of three with the head dot next of four. So three will be uh, pointing to five, which is the next value of this node instead of four will point to five. And that is what the response of this particular problem will be. So, okay. So how do we find the length? We will iterate in a while loop such that head dot next is not equal to null. And we are going to do head dot head dot next. And we will increment count at the end of this while loop the count value will contain 
the length of the linked list, which is how many nodes are present in that. And then we need another loop, int i is equal to 1, and we need this loop till length minus uh, the n value incremented by 1, and we're going to do head dot head dot next. Now important thing that we have to do is that we have to bring the head back to the head of the list. And since we have preserved the head, we can go back to head by head is equal to result. So now we are at node 3. So we want to get the next value of head dot next. So head dot next is for this particular statement will get or will point to node num node 5. And head dot next. So head is 3. So head dot next is we want to point it to 5, which is 10. And that's all. So we want to return the result now. So this program will solve the problem or that the test case that we have. Oh my goodness. So this solves the problem that uh, we were uh, looking at as part of our test case. But what if for the edge case, which is example number two, we only have one element and we want to get rid of that element. So this one definitely will fail because uh, uh, you know the way it is, it will try to go into head dot next dot next, and clearly head dot next is null, so there will be a null pointer error. So as expected, uh, there is a null pointer error. Now, how to take care of this problem? So this is a situation where uh, the n and count are same. So in this case, what we want to do is that we want to return result, result next. And uh, for the example or the test case that we are trying to solve, so result is a node where the value is 1. Next, there isn't anything. So it will just return null. Now, you know, this, this works perfectly fine for these kind of things as well, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if the node that we want to delete is fifth node, then also uh, we will just check, you know, n is equal to 5 and return result will do next so all you know the 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 linked list where head is two that will be returned so this takes care of those situations okay so i think this will solve the test case that we have Why do I keep forgetting adding semicolon? Okay. Oh, lead code wants me to subscribe. I'm gonna do that some other day. Okay, so this works fine. I think now we're good to submit. So submission goes totally fine. In terms of time complexity, so we do have two loops here. Uh, both the loops are linear time complexity. We, there is no nested loop, so we are good from the time complexity perspective. The time complexity is O n, so that's perfect. Uh, yeah, uh, let me know. You know, if you have any other suggestions in terms of solving this in a better way, and if you have any questions, then also let me know. Thanks.